What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Gulp JS, aka Gulp, whatever you want to call it, whatever floats your boat. So I'm guessing that most of you guys watching this video already have a basic understanding of what Gulp is and what you can use it for. But for those of you guys who, I don't know, maybe you're in school and your teacher is like, hey, learn Gulp. Or maybe you had a job and your boss just expected you to know Gulp and you didn't really understand it yet. I'll give you guys a real brief overview of what it is. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to explain to a beginner exactly what it is because unlike most programs, it's not just WTF is this mate I'm trying to do a tutorial and it's asking me if I want to, oh my God, I want to drop kick my computer now. All right. So like I was saying, it's kind of hard to explain what Gulp is because it's not just one tool. It doesn't just do one thing. Gulp is kind of like a Swiss army knife for web developers. So you can use it to do a bunch of different things. And I'll give you guys a few examples. So say that you were writing some SCSS or less or SAS and you needed to convert it to plain old CSS. Well, Gulp can help you with that. Um, another thing is if you just had some CSS files in JavaScript and you wanted to minify them so your website can load a little bit faster, well, Gulp can help you with that as well. So again, it's a bunch of different tools wrapped in one, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use some of those tools, some of the more popular ones in this tutorial series. So enough of me babbling on about whatever. Let's go ahead and figure out how to download it, how to install it, and how to set up a Gulp project. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download Node.js. Why the heck are we downloading this when you really care about Gulp? Well, whenever we download Node.js, it's going to come with a tool called NPM or Node Package Manager. And this is the tool that we use to download Gulp. So I know it's kind of weird that we have to download a tool just to download something else, but hey, this is how it works. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Node.js, I'm guessing that most of you already know what it is, but if you guys don't really know what it is or you want a more detailed explanation of how to download and set it up, then I actually made a whole other Node.js tutorial series, but for right now, let me just skim through it real quick. So you go to this website and you click downloads, and of course, you just choose Windows or Mac, whatever you're using, and go ahead, and the installers are incredibly simple. Just Keep all of the default settings and click next, next, next. You're probably going to have to agree to something and you're going to have node. So there you go. Pretty easy. Again, if you want to walk through, then go ahead and check out my node tutorials. But once it's installed, like I said, you're going to have this tool called NPM, which stands for node package manager. Now, all this tool is, it's actually kind of, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but just think of it as a tool that lets you download stuff from the internet. I know that's a really simplified explanation, but just think of it like that for now. So how do we use this tool? Well, if you're using Windows, then go ahead and type in PowerShell. And whenever you see this right here, Windows PowerShell, then go ahead and right click and hit run as administrator. So I'm gonna hit yes. And the reason that you need to run as administrator is because we're going to pretty much download files for the system. So we need administrator privileges. Now, you also want to open up a terminal if you're using a Mac. And the only difference from here on out between Mac and Windows is if you're using a Mac, you need to type the word sudo, which gives you administrator privileges before every command. So again, Windows doesn't have a sudo. It just has run at administrator. But whenever you're using a Mac, you just type sudo before each command, and it basically means run this as a super user or an administrator. And another thing that I'm going to recommend before we actually install Gulp is go ahead and remove any old Gulp versions that you may have installed on your computer. So in order to do this, just type npm rm, which means remove Gulp minus G. So all this says is node package manager, which is that tool that we just downloaded, go ahead and remove Gulp. Now again, I'm almost certain that you guys probably don't even have Gulp install installed, but if you accidentally installed it, maybe you're playing around with it a few months before, then just go ahead and remove the old version of it. And this minus G means remove it everywhere on our computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. 
and it's gonna say warning uninstall not installed and this is fine this just means hey you don't even have it ins installed already and you're trying to uninstall it it doesn't hurt anything so just go ahead and run that command anyways and now once you are um, ensure that you don't have gulp installed anywhere on your computer we can now install the most up-to-date version of gulp so how do we do that just go ahead and type npm which is that tool that came with node.js install gulp minus cli not bli cli minus g so what we're installing is the gulp command line interface and again, this is just a tool that allows you to run um, gulp commands from anywhere on your computer. So with the command line, we can go ahead and use the gulp tool. And this minus G just means globally. So we want to be able to use this tool anywhere on our entire computer. We don't have to be inside a specific directory or anything like that. So go ahead and hit enter. And dun, 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 dun. All right, mate, look at that. So now gulp is installed and we can go ahead and use gulp commands from anywhere on our computer and in the next video i'm going to show you guys how to set up a web project using gulp